The internet is full of bro science, fake knowledge, half information or propaganda. Your quest of reliable, authentic health information ends here. So subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon and you never have to go anywhere else ever again. Hello everyone, how are you today? I'm Dr. Paramjeet and you're watching Dr. Education. We have already made videos about fungal infections, ringworms and other jock H's and today we are going to talk about ringworm fungal infection of the scalp if you have fungal infection on your head then what to do what are the reasons <laughs> fungal infection in the scalp is also called tinea capitis or ringworm so it can be there in your beard also in your groin in your toes and, and mostly other places on the skin but we are talking about the scalp see the germs basically are fungus fungi a ringworm is called by a germ called dermatophytes in the fungal uh, in fungal this thing it's a type of fungus and it can live on dead tissue like hairs on your nails and outer skin layers also right it can grow very well in warm moist areas and it is more likely that you will have a tinea infection if you have a minor skin or scalp injury if you don't wash your hairs very often if you don't bathe very often if you have uh, a lot of sweating uh, very often then you might have increased chances and it can spread very easily it most often affects the children and uh, it goes away at puberty most oftenly but it can occur at any age right you can get ringworm if you get in direct contact with other people who have ringworms and you can also get from uh, their combs or their hats or their clothing or if someone's hands or from even pets like cats and dogs also so when you get a fungal infection on your scalp then what will happen you will have you can have a you know a bald area a bald area with a small black dot right due to hairs that have been broken off that can happen you can have a round scaly area of skin that are red or swollen that have little uh, raised margins and all you can even have pus filled pus filled sores which are called carions carions and it may be very itchy very itchy in the scalp so you can even have a low grade fever around 100 degree fahrenheit 101 degree fahrenheit or you can even have swollen lymph nodes in the neck that can also be one of the presentation right ringworm may cause permanent hair loss also and can cause lasting scars in the head so that's why going to a doctor is very, very important a doctor a dermatologist can easily diagnose just by looking at Uh, the signs of ringworm in your head and sometimes diagnosis is needed by taking out a skin scraping from your head and and testing it under, under a mitos microscope by koh mounts and uh, skin cultures for fungus or skin biopsies are rarely needed right treatment very important your doctor will give you a medicine uh, if need, if your uh, ring in worm infection fungal infection is very bad in your scalp medicine can be given by a for taking it through the mouth and you will need to take the medicine for 4 to 8 weeks then at home what you can do you can keep your scalp clean you can wash your scalp with a medicated shampoo such as something which contains ketoconazole or selenium sulfide shampoo may slow or stop the spread of this infection but it does not get rid of the ringworm here so you will need to take medicines through the mouth very important other family members and the pets should also be examined and treated if necessary and other children in the home may want to use the shampoo also even if they don't have infection shampoo two to three times a week for about six weeks right adults only need to wash the shampoo wash with the shampoo if they have signs of tinea capitis or ringworms or else they don't have to do it for preventive purposes but children should be prevented once the shampoo has been started then wash the towels which have which are being used in hot soapy water and dry them using the hottest heat which is recommended on the care label of that cloth and this should be done each time the towels are used by someone who is infected soak soak the combs and brushes 
right for at least one hour a day in a mixture of one part beach bleach to 10 parts water basically a diluted mixture of bleach do this for three days in a row if you want to prevent the spread of the infection from the combs and brushes right no one in the home should share combs anymore or hair brushes or hats or towels or pillowcases or helmets with any other person or else it will spread to everyone right remember it is it may be hard to get rid of this hin ringworm but it's not impossible it's, it's easy with proper guidance proper knowledge also the problem can come back after it is treated in and it in many cases it gets better after puberty especially in children so children have a major problem of recurrent infections so if you have a problem if you have any symptom on your scalp then you can directly go to a doctor if your home care is not enough to get rid of this kind of a problem remember a fungal infection of the scalp is also called tinea capitis ringworm tinea of the scalp this is all about ringworm or fungal infection in the scalp hope this video helps don't forget to share this video Stay connected and stay healthy.